It's a beautiful day. Got another gameplay and a commentary for you guys today. The gameplay is from a team scrim. Me and Jeff have been running with people. So this is just from one of those. It's a good match on Reed. We do pretty well. We do well as a team. The teamwork is there. And what I want to talk about is MLG and I'm. It's tomorrow. Everyone's excited. It's going to be an awesome event. So I want to talk about my, my predictions for the event. Who I think is going to win. Who I think is going to show up. You know. And I'll give a little description for each team. So obviously the favorites. People I'm picking to win. Impact. Can't argue against that. I mean they've won four events in a row already. They're unstoppable on land. Their teamwork is there. It's like they didn't even play that much for like a month or something. They came right back into it. They were still unstoppable. They mess around and still just like demolish teams. There's just no way that they're going to lose. I can't see any team beating them easily. I'd be very surprised if they don't get first. So for my second place team, this is a little bit controversial. But I think it's going to be complexity. And I think the first through fourth place, or the second through fourth place teams, I think Impact's going to win, but the second to fourth place teams I think are kind of debatable. They could be interchangeable, we'll see, like, just whoever has a good event or whatever, but I think Complexity's going to take second. They've been practicing a lot. Clayster's stepped his game up. He's a huge asset to that team now. Krim6, back, uh, Krim was a beast when the game came out, back at UMG Chicago, all that. And then he kind of was slowed down for a while due to the foul and the nerfs to the SMGs, and so he wasn't able to be as big of a factor, but now that that happened, now that the foul is banned, he's back in his rhythm, you know, he's going huge, so he's going to be a big asset to that team. I think he's the best player on that team. They're going to have a really good event. TP is much better on land, being a West Coast player and all that. Aix always shows up on land, you know, he messes around, he trolls online, but he's a very solid land player. So I'm excited to see what's how they're gonna do. I think they'll play second. Third place, I think is gonna be Envy. A lot of people think Envy's gonna play second, but they just like, they haven't been practicing as much or like having great practices, I guess. I mean, they're, they're still, they could get second easily, but I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. I just got a feeling that they're gonna get third. They're still an awesome land team though. Things change on land, so anything could happen. Fourth, I'm seeing VVV. I think BBB is going to get fourth because they've been grinding a lot. They're a nasty team. Everybody's expecting big things of them. Goonjar, everybody says he's better online, but he's still a very good land player. Like, he goes huge on land. He was dropping 40 kills like every game at Dallas. He's a really solid player. I don't think he gets enough credit for his abilities. The rest of that team, you know, obviously realize in theory he plays third at Dallas, so. Pulls on the team Sharp. Sharp's a veteran. And, you know. I think what their secret weapon is, is they're going to have sharp, sharp like, tell jokes during the game and stuff, throw off the other team, so that'll help them out. You know, their team's going to be laughing too hard to fight back. That's what's going to happen. So, fifth, I gotta take Optic. They're a really solid land team. I just don't feel like they have the same, like, X factor that the top four teams. You know, they're, they're a solid team, they're a great land team, they're veterans of the game, they're amazing players. I just don't feel like, just for some reason, I got a feeling like they're not going to place top four. They just lack a little bit, you know, in certain areas. Solid all-around team, but they just don't really excel at anything, I feel like. Especially in hardpoint. They're a great CTF and SD team, but so are the other teams, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be a close event. Anything can happen. Sixth place, I'm taking Unite. A lot of people don't think they're going to do that well, but a lot of people forget that they're still all veterans of the game. They're great players. Slack plays second at Dallas. Like, you got Nameless, who plays pro. Fizzer plays pro. And then um, Saints, who's still a great player. He's better online, but, like, he's still really good online. He's going to do a great job. He did great at COD Champs for Soar. So they'll do a good job. Then at 7th, I'm taking Evil. A lot of people have them placing a lot higher, some people think they're going to win the event, but I just don't think that they have the same thing as Optic, like they just have the, don't have that X factor, they don't really have like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, I don't know, I just, I got a feeling that they're not going to do as well as the other teams, that's what I think is going to happen. And then for 8th place, 
There's a few teams. I'm not taking. I'm not saying any one team is gonna take eighth place, but there's a few uh, teams that I think can compete for it. Like Quantix has got a good chance. Epsilon, the European team, they have a good chance. Prime example. They're a great team. Phase with Methods and Embo and all them, the former Sword team. All those teams have a good chance. I don't think that, like, I don't think Dare's gonna do that well. I don't think. What is it? Impulse? I don't think they're gonna place Pro. It's just my thoughts. Those are my predictions for the event. Anyway, it's gonna be a great event. I'm excited to watch. These things are always a ton of fun to watch. If you guys don't know, it starts. Call of Duty starts at 5 30 Pacific time tomorrow, Friday, June 28th. It starts off with like the early champ bracket matches. And then they close off the night at like 9.30 Pacific or 12.30 Eastern with the Optic and Evil match, which everyone's excited to see. I can't wait to see how that turns out. It's going to be intense. And then the top four teams, Complexity, Envy, VV, and uh, Impact, they don't play until Saturday. So that'll be exciting to watch. I can't wait to see how they do. And then Sunday is Championship Sunday, of course. So I'm going to be watching that most of the weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. Gonna get excited. Gonna be gonna have my popcorn. You know, my drinks, all that. It's gonna be exciting. So, anyways, that's all I really want to talk about for this video. If you guys like it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. As always, everybody, have a lovely day. Peace. Hard point contested. Hard point is ours. Hellstorm missile awaiting orders. Sentry gun ready to deploy. Hellstorm missile inbound. Objective almost complete. Don't quit now. Hard point identified. Fire one one in from south. Eight seconds. Lightning strike coordinates received. Inbound. Three confirmed. Hard point contested. Solid execution.